All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. I don't know why it was being weird before, but uh, what I'm doing today is I'm going to take a bunch of these layers, of which I'm gonna grab them right now and drag them in. Um, and I'm going to rig them so they look 3D, or at least so that they you can get a little bit of turn out of them. Um, and I'll kind of explain how that works and everything in a minute, but right now I'm just going to drag these in. So if you don't know how to do anything in um, After Effects, then go to my playlist um, AI to AE, and uh, that'll help. Yeah, let's see. Face. Which face is this? Not that face. I need. That face, that's the face I want. All right. So all of this, all of these guys will line up in a moment. I'm going to kind of get them all lined up first. Face, and then I need ears. Okay. So go in here, type in ears. Do, do, do. That's the ones. Great. Okay. So I'm going to grab all these guys and not the camera. And let's <clears throat> align them here. Where's my line? It says it's out, but I do not see it. There we go. How can I not align them? Okay, let's grab them, get rid of the camera, and align to composition center. Fine. We'll turn the 3D layers off for a minute. Center them, center them. There we go. Turn the 3D layers back on. There we go. Okay, so now they're all kind of Together, let's throw the camera up to the top here. Let's move our camera so we're kind of centered on this guy. And kind of come in a little bit. Okay. Back. Go mustache to the front and the nose to the front. And the chin just underneath the mustache and nose. There we go. Yes, there's a guy. There. Nothing super special right now. The trick is we're going to pull all of the layers apart and uh, then link them up all up to a null object and we'll rotate the null object and it'll look like it's turning. It, it's got some limitations, but let me just do that right now. So we'll go to layer, do null. Okay. Okay. I'll we'll leave that null there. And then I'm going to pull the null back and so let's go position and I'm gonna drop it back a little bit okay and then let's pull the nose forward and we're gonna have to kind of like redo some of the um redo some of the sizing here in a minute but you can see kind of in this one right here that you can kind of separate them. Um, let's see, I want the chin to be relatively close to the mustache and the face and hat. So I'm gonna put the hat in front of the face and slightly forward. Just a little bit like that. And then we'll take the ears and we'll pull them back. Okay. So now let's kind of scale things. I'm going to go to one view here. Kind of scale things so that they look all right. Let's make those bigger. And let's make our face bigger. And make our hat bigger. Okay, make our nose smaller. There's probably like a mathematical way to do this, but uh, I don't want to. You can't make me. Okay, so now in theory, if I go to my null object and I rotate on the y-axis, nothing happens. Oh, because I haven't linked them up. Okay, so grab everything except null. And then parent these to the null. And now rotate the null. Okay, and you get kind of that 
parallax. And we can tell that we are too far. So I am going to kind of smash these layers back a little bit so that we get a little bit of movement, but not that much movement. So let's kind of push these back. I want that to move over, but not a ton. And the mustache. Move that back as well. Okay. And the chin's okay, the ear's all right. We're gonna have to fix the hat because the hat's kind of acting kind of strange. So we'll do that in a minute. But we got a little bit of, the nose is still way too much movement. So yeah, let's just push everything closer together. That nose is way out there. And what I was thinking, it'd be way closer. You know what, I'm gonna attach the mustache to the nose so that I can push both of those back at the same time. And let's attach the chin to the mustache. And then I can push the nose back further. Okay, let's pull the ears forward. All right, now we'll go back and go Y rotation. Okay, that is much better. So there's just a little bit. That's all I want is just a little bit of movement. Okay, let's try X rotation. Yeah, there's just a touch. I think I can probably pull the chin away from the face just, just a little bit more. So let's go chin and come out. Maybe I'll push the face back. So it's just like a little bit of nuance that you're trying to get here. And obviously the nose is a little messed up right now. So let's kind of center that and then let's move our nose over. Uh, no, 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 no. This is the problem with that. So let's take that back to the null. And I'll move this over so it's centered. And then because I scaled it, I put it forward. I'm going to scale it back up a little bit because I do want them to have kind of a big nose. Okay, now let's try the rotation. Just enough. I don't want it to move too much anyway, so that's okay there. The hat looks kind of strange. We'll fix that in a minute. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right, so this at zero. I'm going to take these all off the null so I can put the null at zero rotation when I link them. So it's got none. And then let's put this at zero. And then let's grab these guys and pick up the null. Okay. So now everything's zeroed out. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. <clears throat> so here comes the fun part. So now we're going to do joysticks and sliders. Um, rotate down here. So what you do with joysticks and sliders is you attach whatever you want to a joystick. In this case, if I move the joystick to the right or to the left or up or down, I want the null object to rotate. Um, and then I'm also going to go back and I'm going to warp with some puppet pen the hat so it kind of just distorts just a little bit. Um, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So <clears throat> zoom in so you can see frames. And we're going to do... Um, X and Y rotation, X, Y. And uh, so that's the origin point is the first frame. Hit page down. And on the second frame, you want to show what happens when you move the joystick to the right. So we'll go like that. Let's see how far we can go. Okay, that's probably too far. So looks like maybe... 14 is as far as we want to go. Okay, let's go to the next one. And we'll go positive 14, and that'll be as far as we want to go on the other side. Okay, and then we'll go back to our origin point. That. Okay. And then this one, we want it to do um, nothing, nothing. And then here, we'll have it look up. So we'll go up. 
like that. Getting some really nice looks on those shadows. That's cool. Okay. And then we'll go down. Ooh, loo, loo. And I might come in with some shape layers here in a minute. We'll kind of see what happens. Okay. So this is this is what these five positions are. Right, left, up, down. Okay, and the first one is origin point. So then you can take these, you select those, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new joystick by clicking that button. And I'm going to say trucker. Turn. Okay, now, there's a lot of tutorials out there that do this differently. And I don't like those for a particular reason. You kind of have to guess. Um, the other ones will have you just move it, and it's not a 2D layer. Um, but check out what this does. So I'm going to lock the boundaries. You grab this control, and you just move this around, and it gives you some cool stuff. Now I'm seeing that I kind of want the, I still want a little bit of space. Um, like when we go down, I'd like the lips to, or the chin to, kind of push back a little bit further so we get that overlap and the cool thing about this is because I'm using the null object and not the layers um, zero zero uh, position that uh, I can I can totally still move the layers around because um, they're just links to the null object and the null object is the one that's moving so let's push the chin back a little bit. I might even move it down a little bit, not too much. Now let's see. Yeah, that's all right. Get a little bit of that movement is all we need. Okay, so now let's get this guy talking and build some more controls. So, oh, you know what we need to do first is I want to make sure that I um, do his hat. So. Command A to select everything, U to collapse it, and then let's grab his hat. And I am going to um, move the anchor point to the top of the hat. And then I'm going to come in and we'll grab our puppet position pin. Or do we want advanced? Let's see, as I turn my hat, you're going to see more of that. So that'll drop a little bit. I'm going to put an advanced pin right here. Okay, and that'll give me a little bit of that. Okay, so, and I'm going to do a normal puppet pin and lock some corners down, like so. And I think the one that we want to move around is mainly gonna be that one. Okay, so let's do this. And, We've got our origin point. Let's see what happens. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go back to joysticks and sliders. I'm going to unlink um, the ones that I created. And so I can just unlink those. And then you can see that they kind of move back to those positions. We can link them all back up, back and forth, link and unlink to that controller all you want. Um, okay, so let's see what happens when we go to the right. And I want to move this a little bit further to the right, rotate it a little bit, drop this down some, maybe even lift that up a little bit, push this in. Rotate that just a little bit more. And I want to make this... Okay. So basically you have position scale and rotation. <clears throat> on these advanced puppet pins. Um, and so I'm trying to get it to like, you see how the bill of the hat kind of rotates just a little bit? I might want that up just a little bit more. Just to drop, and maybe even drop here. Maybe we'll raise this up, push it over. Okay. It looks a little bit weird, but that's okay. Okay, so now let's go here. And here's a fun button for joysticks and sliders. I'm going to select the hat. And I'm going to hit origin. And what it does is it gives me the origin controls 
for all of the available things, meaning the first keyframes that you put down, it gives you, it goes back to like basic first keyframes. Okay, so let's rotate it the other way this time. Move it over. Okay, and then this will drop. This comes down and this goes up and in. And we'll kind of pull this out a little bit more. No, pull out, be bigger. There we go. Okay, so it's probably too much rotation. Maybe a little too high. Yeah, you'd see more of the bill. The bill would kind of come out. You know what? I should probably do this with a shape layer, but I don't want to. This would come in this way on the left turn and come in this way. See this kind of come in and drop down. Good. That's fine. Okay. Come up here again. Select the whole layer. Hit origin, boom. Okay, and as it looks up, the top is going to move away from us. And so we are going to raise this and we'll kind of widen these and then push these together, give it a little bit of force for shortening. Maybe even pull it down a little bit. I raised that too much. I wonder if we can make this expand that a little bit. Show the mesh here. I want, I want that to be bigger. Mm, I don't want the mesh to be bigger. The mesh can be smaller. I want the effect of that pin to be bigger. Okay, so let's turn that off again. Yeah, it's still kind of strange, so I'm gonna come in. Maybe not so high. Maybe shrink it down, will that help? No, we want it to be wide, bigger. And that way, yeah, there we go. And that way when these come in, it gets more of that foreshortening. And we're kind of cartooning here, so that's that's too extreme. Um, yeah, okay, so. That's okay there, good. Okay, now let's look down. Scroll up and press origin again. And then I wanna pull the bill down so it's a little bit more flat and uh, I kind of want to shrink it down a little bit as well because I still want to see the top of his head so maybe we'll make it taller but not wider I want to kind of flatten this out so I'm just going to pull this a little bit Not too much, there we go. Okay, so there's down, boom, 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 boom. Great, okay, now let's grab hat and then we'll grab null again and then we will relink these by pressing the relink button. Goes through that process. Okay, and we'll grab our control. It's warping a little bit. So here's something that I kind of like to do is I'll put some just pins uh, or just some movement down and see kind of how it feels. And we'll just kind of test out some of these corners. And the corners usually distort. I usually try to avoid the corners, but I do like to see what goes wrong with them. So. 
just kind of moving everything to the extremes to see what feels weird. Okay, let's go back. I'll just have a look left and right. Just go straight left, straight to the right. Okay, and then we'll go up and down. Let's go zero, zero. Let's go straight up. Straight down. Straight up again. One button I wish they would do is to just plug in like the extremes, extreme coordinates with push of a button. That would be ideal. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here and just for looping sake, copy and paste that, hit N, and see what it looks like. Has to form too much already. I can already tell I did too much deformation. Yeah, that's way weird. Really distracting. Let's see how it looks when it goes faster. I think I need to just barely move stuff. Hmm, I don't like it. I don't like it. Everything else looks okay though. The hat just looks funky. It's also probably too far away from the face. Let me, let me push that back. Yeah, it's pretty far away. So let's go hat position. I'll drop it back closer to the face. Where's the face? There we go. Let's put it right on there. Okay. Let's see if that helps at all. I think I might reposition my I think I, I might reposition my main um puppet advanced puppet pin to the center of the patch on the hat. And then just leave everything else the same. So let's do that. Okay, so we will come back here and let's unlink everything. And we'll zoom in. And then let's go into the hat here, hit U to expose all the keyframes. And I am going to delete the puppet pins. I'll do this one more time. Okay, so let's uh, let's go advanced puppet pin. And let's put that right in the center. Okay. And then normal puppet pin. Here, 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 and here. And just because there's corners, I'm going to stick them here as well. Okay. Let's see how that goes. So I am not going to touch the outer boundaries. I might touch these two corners. I'm definitely going to work with the one in the center. Okay. Um... So let's expose those keyframes. So there's the center one. There's the one to the right. So let's grab this and move it over. Just a little bit of forced foreshortening. And I'm going to move this. I think that'll be good. Okay, and let's go to the left and we will hit origin again. Doo -doo. I'm gonna delete keyframes on a bunch of these that I'm not using right now because I think I'm really just gonna use the one or the three and not the other two, so I'll just delete those. Just come over to the side here, over the side a little bit. Just, just enough to, I'm comparing these two corner positions. So remember that this is this layer is also rotating with the null object, as that rotates. Okay, so I think that'll be fine. I think I was just, I was just warping it too much. It's just all kinds of weird distortion. It's very subtle, this thing. So the origin again. As it goes back, I'm just gonna have this raise up just a little bit. 
just to squish it just a little bit. And I'm going to lower. I don't want to do that. Let's undo that. I don't want to add a keyframe there. I'm going to leave. Well, let's raise these just a touch. Just a touch. I don't think I'm going to have them look up that much anyway, but just for fun, let's try to get it right. And origin. Okay, and now let's lower this. And lower these. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. If I was being really precise, I would... Like make sure I'm only changing like separate dimensions in the position and make sure I'm only changing that. Okay, so uh, this one. Let's get rid of all those keyframes and this one. Get rid of all those keyframes and this one. No keyframes on you and no keyframes for Glenn Coco and no keyframes there either. Boom, 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 boom. Great. Let's try this again. Hat and null object and relink to the joystick. Fantastic. And minus. And let's render out our little deal. That looks a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, that's working quite a bit better. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay, I might pull the ears a little bit back because I'd like a little bit more movement with those ears. So I'm going to push them further back than they are. And how does that look? Yeah, now we're getting a little bit more ear movement on the left and the right. Good. But I want them to be big still, so... I pushed them back, so make them just need a bit bigger. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just a little bit. Great. Coolio. Butamus. Okay, now let's get him talking. Talking, talking, talking. So um, I'm going to zero this out. Again, the reason I love doing it this way is because um, I can still um, manipulate the layers without having the controllers conflict with each other. Because except for the hat, all the layers are rotating because the null object is rotating, they're parented. So they can still have all kinds of different keyframes that don't conflict with that. So you can kind of stack them. Um, but if you're rotating the layers themselves, with the controller rather than rotating the null object that they're parented to, uh, then you can get conflicting things when you do something like this. So I'm going to have his mustache blah, 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 kind of wiggle, and then I'm going to have his chin up and down and a little bit of rotation. So let's start with the chin because that's easier. Okay, and I'm just going to move all these and we'll zoom in. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, and we'll go chin. P for position, and I'm going to right click and separate dimensions. Okay, so we're going to leave Z position away alone, and we'll go Y position, X position. Okay, and I want some Z rotation. So we'll hit R for rotation, and I want some Z rotation. Select that layer again, hit U to expose everything, and then here we go. So when the joystick goes to the right i'm going to do you know what we'll do real quick i'm just going to select all these i'm going to put all my things down so two three four and five it's easier than kind of do it the other way okay so let's start with up and down because that's the easiest one so the fourth set of keyframes we'll have up b y position up like that, okay. And then we'll have down be down. We don't want it to go too far, actually. 
see that? Great. Dan, okay. And yeah. Okay, so now when we go to the right, I'm gonna do Z rotation. Expose that just a little bit. Maybe a four, sure. And then do I wanna move that along the X position a little bit? Move it that way. Yeah, so I'm gonna adjust it so that just we get some jaw rotation. Um, okay, then we'll go here, do the same thing over here. We did four, and then reposition it to be about there. Perfect, and then up and down. Great, love it. Okay, so then we'll go chin and create a new one. Crocker chin. Okay, we will grab this control. And I will move it so it's kind of down near his chin, so I don't have to bother labeling it. And then I lock that, and I can just hide these. Hide you, hide you, go away. Okay, trucker chin, and I can go. Great. So that's wonderful. Okay. And I'll show you a trick that I'm going to do with that in a minute, where whenever he's talking, I can control the mustache and the chin with the same thing, which I'll do in a moment. Okay, so now we want to do mustache. And mustache, I want, I'm going to, I'm going to have it like wiggle. So I think I can do that with uh, two advanced pins, probably here and here, and then I'll lock down the position of everything else. And then maybe I'll control the outside edges. So maybe we can make him look like he's smiling or frowning. Okay, just have to talk that through. So let's go advanced pin tool. I must ask you a question and we'll put one here and we'll put one here. Fantastic. Okay, and then we'll put one here We'll put one here. Great. And then I will pin it to his nose. Let's see if that works well enough. That should do it. All right. So let's grab this. Well, oh, actually, grab this one and delete the keyframes on that. Yikes. Boom. You have no keyframes, you have no power. Okay. Then everything else is keyframes. Wonderful. Okay. Wunderbar, he exclaimed with great relish. So let us select all of these. Oh, come on. You have to do it one at a time. Don't be shy. Okay. And then we'll just uh, give our origins two, three, four, and five. Okay. So here's the mustache looks like normally. When we move the joystick to the right, let's go right and left and have that be like the rotation of those two. And then we'll go up and down and we'll have that be the, um, maybe the size. Let's try it. Okay, so move it to the right. <clears throat> And let us rotate. Oh, I like that. I like it a lot. This way as well. I can already see that this is going to cause us a problem with the way I drew the chin. We'll fix that in a minute. <clears throat> and then go back and we'll have it rotate the other way. I actually can see an argument that would be good for having two controllers control the mustache on the right and the left side. But for right now, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that's left and right. Now up and down. 
Let's do scale. And I want the, this doesn't make any sense. So I'm not trying to make it make sense. I'm just trying to make it be kind of funny. Um, so 70 and 120. <clears throat> Let's reverse those. And go 70 here. And 120 here. So I'm going to get that. Great. And if we move these along diagonally, then it'll do that. OK. Now, let's do the corners of the mouth. So give me this guy. And I want you to let me move the joystick to the right. Do I want? I'm trying to think this through. So I don't want those to move along the x-axis at all. So I think when I move it up and down, I'm going to have it do both of them together up and both of them together down. But when I move it left and right, I'm going to go opposite each other. Yep, that's what I'm doing. How exciting. OK, so let's do up first. Give him a little bit of a smile. Wonderful. Love it. And then we'll go down. Give him a little bit of a frown. Oh, I'm sad. Why are all of those highlighted? OK. And then when I go to the right, joystick to the right, what makes more sense? This one up. And this one down. OK. And then we'll go opposite that to the left. And when the controller goes to the left, we'll go up and down. Very excited about this. Great. OK. So instead of doing the whole layer, I'm going to do two different controllers for the mustache. One for smiling and frowning, and one for just talking. So these advanced pins are the talking. New joystick. Mustache. Talking. Do, 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 do. Wonderful. OK, sir, come with me, if you would, please. Um, you can go over here. Great. And then you get locked and hidden and mustache shocking. Hmm. Hmm. This might. Let's see what happens. Because it's controlling some of the things that I don't think it should control. It grabbed all of them. Why did it grab all of them? Don't grab all of them. Give me effects. Give me puppet. You dirty rat. No, there's still some in here. Deform. That. I want you to have. What? What? Why? OK. Something went wrong. So let's unlink it. Unlink and then give me all the keyframes. And I only want these and these to be linked and not the other two. There we are. Now we're cooking with fire. Yeah. OK, now the other ones don't move. Fantastic. Wonderful. That makes me pleased. Then we'll grab these. Actually, I'm going to do it the other way, because for some reason it caused me a problem before. So, and new, and we will go. Uh, that's mine.
Coolio. Do do do. Origin. Come over here. And do. And lock. And mustache smile. We go smile for up. We go sad frowning. Could be more sad. And we go her or her. <laughs> I love it. That is great. Cool. Okay, so now. Yep, that's cool. Okay, so just for fun, let's put a wiggle expression on the position here. And just go, I don't know, go on um, every three seconds, move 150. Then mustache talking position. We want this to go much faster to make it look like he's speaking. So let's go uh, four times a second. Move two hundred. Great. Pleases me. Head turn and chin. So chin. You know what I'm going to do? You don't because I haven't set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have this just just do that for right now. And let us try it. So give me keyframes. And move these back closer together. Okay, and talk for me, my man. It's going to be a little slow for a bit. The nice thing about things rendering a little slowly, yeah, that's exposing too much of the lip. He should have a mouth hole, and he doesn't. I'm going to have to draw a mouth hole. I don't want to. Just fix that on the Photoshop file, I think. Oh, and that is super rubbery. So let's let's just F9 that baby. Give me some easy ease. Smooth that out. Render one more time. That way it's I'll turn his head a little bit more smoothly. Okay, and yeah, see when the middle of the mustache goes up, it reveals too much of the under lip there. So I gotta figure that out. But he does look like he's jabbering a bit. And bring the extremes of that in. That head turn. Okay, let's fix this. So go over to our Photoshop file. Yeah, let's open. Chin, my friend, chin. Okay. So for right now, I want to see chin. <clears throat> oh, fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's ink this baby. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a mouth. So let's come up. You know what? Let's do this smarter, not harder. And use the symmetry tool. Okay, and is that going to mess it up? Oh, as long as I stay within the boundaries of that layer, it shouldn't mess up the composition or anything. If it does, we'll just move it. Good, great, grand, wonderful. Get on the bus. Okay. I should have paid attention where that was before. And save. And jump back over to After Effects. 
Yeah, there we go. That's better. Oh, shoot. It's still... <laughs> what is happening with the chin? When did that get exposed? Oh, just now when I screwed it up. Fine. Excuse me, Mr. Chin. You, sir, need to get in line. How's that? How is that? <clears throat> this one? Better. Okay, and... I just need like a little bit more. I'm trying to guesstimate how much I can go with that. I'm going to screw it up. That's fine. I'll just go a little bit higher. Maybe that part of the, nah, that part of the face can be black. Yeah, let's do a little bit more here. Come back. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'm just going to ink this whole bad boy up here. Whole thing. Fill it in for me, if you would, sir. Save. Um, it's going to mess up my thing, so I'll go fix that. Yep. Jim. Yeah, I know. I know. I am aware. Mm -hmm. Now. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Okay, good. So we got that. Great. Love it. Love it so much. Okay, I think this guy's talking good, so let's render it out and see how we feel about it now. What I love about mustaches and beards is I don't have to do any lip sync. <laughs> I can just uh, wiggle out around. Because lip sync sucks. It's the worst. Okay, here we go. So let's see how this looks. Full speed here. Blah, blah, blah. Da, da, do. I'm an angry trucker. Ba 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 ba. Love it. Let's see how the hat looks. It's all right. A little bit weird. That's fine though. I think it's okay. I've got to do some research and see how I can make the influence of those advanced puppet pins bigger. Because I would like that to not have like a it like just a point right in the middle of that patch rather than kind of the whole patch. Let me let me just Google that now. How do you increase the effect of an advanced puppet? To show the mesh now, I need to show the mesh. Yeah, right, the puppet pin tool is great. Record how the puppet pin effect creates outlines. I'm not gonna, oh, that's a mask. I'll just have to look this up. I don't need overlap control. I don't need starch control. Advanced puppet pen. Smoother and customizable. So let's put this on the screen so you guys can read along with me. 
new pin behaviors, customizable deformations, enhanced density. Do I want density or is that just? Density control replaces the triangle control, the layout, size, and amount of triangles within a mesh. The higher the density, the maximum minimum triangle size reduces. Okay. So where's the density control? Let's just look at density over here. You stop talking. Go back to zero. <sighs> Mustache. Effects. Puppet. Mesh. Density. Expansion. So let's turn our let's turn our mesh on here. Let's hit one of these bad boys. Do I have to have this open? Okay. I'll show it. Okay. So when I move the density, what does that do? Freaks out everything. <laughs> it's like, did I break it? Oh, it can only go to 12? Okay, fine. Expansion. That just expands that. I don't want to do that. Neither of those are helpful. And deform, those are just the puppet pins. What compositing options? What do we got here? Effect opacity? No. Just pin type rotation scale. How do I make the thing bigger? How do I make it affect a larger area? Let's try that. Yep. I will figure that out at some point. But I think right now this is fine. Let's turn this off. Cool. Okay, so if you want to watch me do this again, I have another face. Okay, so let us right click and reveal in project graph face rig beautiful all right so let's go new composition um and who do i want to do we're down the trucker hat let's do bald face right now bald, uh, red. all right sir and we can get rid of you and get rid of you. We'll come back. We'll come back to you. All right. Here's this guy. Good time. So you can see, same thing. Like I've got, oops, the different layers that are kind of separated. But this guy, instead of having, I've just got a bunch of mouths. So let's do the mouths first. So I'm going to go into the mouth composition, excuse me, okay. And let's grab these guys. And let's do it this way. So let's have each one be up for three frames. And we will um, split them, zoom in. So to do that, in case you're wondering, um, on. So to do that, you can press uh, Shift Control D. I'll show you. So you can like select a layer, and then go Shift Control D, and it splits it. Then you just hit Delete. So I have a little macro that just does that. 
button. Okay, now let's go to the end of this. Grab all these guys and hit left bracket. And we'll grab all these guys, excuse me, left bracket. I can just move them like that. And let's see how that looks. Great. Okay, that goes to 15 frames. Good. So now we'll come back and let's go bald face. And on our mouth layer, we're going to do a time remap where you go right click, enable time remapping. What just happened? Give me the time remap. It went away. All right, right click, uh, time, enable time remapping. Time remapping is enabled. Let's delete this last one. And we'll go to 15 frames. Zoom in a little bit. And we will add a keyframe, 15 frames. Then I'll click and loop out pink one. Ball. And let's see how that works. Disappears. Uh, so let's go 14 frames. Or, 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 we can be smarter than this. Eh? 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 Okay. I don't like ping pong. Let's go cycle. I didn't need it to be more random. Okay, you guys ready for this? I am going to put a, yep, <laughs> that'll be fun. I'm gonna put a joystick on the time remap. Uh-huh, 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 I think it'll do that. So let's do that. Okay, so we'll start at zero frames. Zoom in. And let's have it when it goes, let's start at seven frames. I guess that's kind of in the middle. Um, and then when we go to the right, we'll go to 15 frames. And we go to the left, go to zero frames. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we go up. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just, yeah, I guess. I don't care. We'll get a, we'll get a 15 and zero again. 15 and zero. Okay. So, see how this works. Let me grab this. And we'll go bald talking. Good. Now give me bald origin, sir. In front over here. Great. And then lock you, hide you, and bald talking. Let's go position, alt click, wiggle, and Let's go with uh, yeah six times a second. Go two hundred because that's the that's the full. It goes from zero to two hundred, zero to negative two hundred. So that'll give us the full range of it. And then let's just render out and to this. It just makes it a little bit more random. Pauses a little too much. Try and do a hit. Slow it down just a little bit. Okay. 
I don't like it. Uh, let's do a loop out ping pong. And I oh know. Let's start here and go up and then go down. Talk back to me. Get, get over. You loop out ping pong afterwards. That would be the smart thing. That would be the thing that smart people do. Too bad I'm a dumb person instead of being a smart person. Can you come up here, please? Okay. <laughs> so stupid. This isn't working at all. Why does it disappear? What could it possibly be? Hold on. Why is it disappearing? Why is it going to 18 frames? It shouldn't go to 18 frames. That's crazy. All right, let's grab all these. Right click and keyframe interpolation uh, linear and linear. Don't, don't you dare. It's still 1820. Why? Because it's adding, um, it helps to not be dumb, but unfortunately, okay, um, I could fix this or just cheat. And cheating sounds fun, so let's do that. <laughs> here we go. Uh, duplicate, command D, and come over here um, at 15 frames, shall we? And uh, yes, I'm just going to randomize this myself instead of having the expression do it, because why? So um, oh, come on then. And then move to a full second. Okay, random. All right, now do it. Does does it literally just hover on that thing? Oh, go faster! It's gonna turn it slow. Fine, fine, fine. I'm being stupid. separate dimensions I'm just gonna do it this way trying to make it trying to make it more random than it needs to be and we're just going to do exposition X negative 200 great positive 200 fantastic Alt click loop out ping pong just for the luck peak Why? What am I doing wrong? Just be zero right now. Try that. Why did I why did I do a joystick and not just do a slider? It's fine. Just make it go faster. Okay. And then I guess just uh, add yeah uh, and I don't know wiggle fifty second. Doesn't work at all. <laughs> Do I need to do the wiggle? Let's try. I hate code. Let's see if that one doesn't. I know. Fine. Fine. Be that way. Be first. I'm gonna kill it, of course. It's <laughs> wiggling there. 
because uh, it's not looping out. All right. Let's just wiggle then. Let's just wiggle for 200, shall we? Can we just do that? Is that all right? And can you go away and then can you start at zero? Yes, fine. More, please. Whatever. That's fine for what we're doing. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Not working the way I want to. That's okay, though. Um, these are supposed to be fast, and I am not going fast because I'm noodling with things. I don't even know how long I've been going. Hey, Anna, how's it going? I don't know when you came on here. Oh, just a minute ago. Cool. Um, oh, an hour. Okay. Uh, let's rig the rest of this in the next few minutes. Okay, so um, let us grab these guys. Um, B. That isn't going to work, is it? Okay, we're going to do a bald face rig. So let's go back over here and we'll go... Where this is? Is this? No, this isn't the bald face rig. All right, give me, um, give me the mouth. Oh shoot! It's not gonna work. Okay, take this and let's undo that. So now I should have all of those controls right there. Beautiful. Okay. Now, reveal in project and no, you go away. Uh, you come with me. Bald face rig, mouth, boom. Perfect. Perfecto. And let's get our line there we go great okay next up um left and right eyebrows reveal please not an explorer this is why doing things at four in the morning is stupid <sighs> reveal in project okay go left yeah we'll see that all right under boom so solids, no. Just give me. Mm, mm, mm. Or left, yeah. yeah. Probably. Okay. Is that the right one? Yes. And this one. Beautiful. Those are the wrong ones. Those are not the same thing. All right. Do it the old way. Okay. Reveal. In project. And you come with me. There. And back here. And reveal. In project. And you go over here as well. Great. Oh, cool. Working on some drawings. That's fun. Is it a comic or just drawing? Got Anna in the chats. Okay, then we'll come back to bald face here. Eyes, reveal, project. Now, how, if I was smart, I would have uh, named these layers better, and then I wouldn't have to guess on stuff, which would be great. I was going to go under the eyebrows, keep the eyebrows. And put them where they need to go. Right there and right there. Ah, oh. Yeah. 
And it says she's working on a comic, which is fun. Right click, reveal, and project face, bald face rig. Go here, center, center. Be underneath everything. And I probably need the ears next. Oh, I did two ears. Fancy. Okay, and reveal. Ear left. Center, center. Behind. And ear right. Right click, reveal, inlay source. Ear right, drag to bald face rig. Badoo. And now, uh, all of you get to be 3D layers now. And null object, new null object goes in the back, and you're 3D as well. And all of you link to the null object. Null object rotate. Good and good and good. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so let's separate these out. <laughs> this is why it's stupid to work on projects at 4 a.m. And here I am working on a project at 4 a.m. as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, I don't know. Uh, nobody bugs me at this time of night, uh, so that's why I do it. But my brain doesn't necessarily work as well, but I can get a lot done. So, uh, one view to four views. This, zoom out a little bit. Yikes. All right. And I really only need two views, actually. And I want to make this one right, not top. Okay, so camera, layer, new camera. Okay, and let's push, push in on this so it fills the space. And pull everything apart. Um, I am going to link the right ear to the left ear and lock and hide the right ear. Okay, and then the left ear, I will push back. Okay, and we don't wanna to go too far. I do wanna size that up a little bit. So scale to put it back where it was, about there. Okay. Um, Face is where it is. Mouth, we're just going to put it like one pixel in front of the face. So you want it to move with the face, but be in front of it. And I'm going to link the mouth to the face. Eyes, I want to be forward so that they move. So let's go forward slightly, slightly forward. Forward, 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 forward. Maybe about like that. That'll make it smaller. Scale, 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 scale. Good. Okay, something like that. Great. Okay, eyebrows. You can also come forward in front of the eyes, but not too far. Okay. So. Good. All right, so now let's try it. Let's rotate the null. So that breaks immediately. <laughs> okay. So we can't go too far that way. That's fine. I can go a little bit though. And just fill it in. That's a little bit down. And a little bit up. I'm already seeing the problem with this this particular rig. See the other one I did. So he just can't move very much. 
um, on that axis. But on this axis, yeah, that's better. That looks pretty good. That's fine. Get a little bit of that movement. The ears look okay. If I don't go too far. I might exaggerate that face a little bit. It looks like nine degrees and then it breaks at about two degrees after two degrees on the X rotation. Y rotation, I can go nine. Hey, Frank's here too. What's up, Frank? All right, so go zero here and zero here. And let's let's rig it. So X, Y. And then I think I'm also going to do eyes rotation as well. Just Y. Yes. Okay. So zoom in. And good, Dan. These are going to be slightly less entertaining than uh, Josh's because I don't, I don't like discuss topics as I think things through. I just like talk out loud. So as I move it to the right, no, nope, wrong one. As I move it to the right, I'm going to go nine. And I also want to exaggerate that a little bit. Okay, the eyebrows have to move with it. I'm seeing. See, if I turn it this way, then it kind of gives me some foreshortening on that. Okay, so there's that. Wonderful, wonderful. And let's do the reverse. Negative nine. And negative nine. Love it. Love it. Now we're cooking with fire. Okay, and give me that and that. Normal, I'm gonna do normal one more time. Boom. And boom. Okay. And let's go back here and I'll go normal, page down, normal, page in. And uh, when it goes up, we will look up just a little bit. Go up a little bit higher. I wonder. If I should stretch that nose down 10 degrees. I think I might. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'll just have the nose get longer as he looks up. Or possibly the height. So eyes position separate dimensions and give me Y position and go down. I wonder if that'll ruin the effect. We'll check. We'll see. It doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, there's like no difference if I do that. Okay, so that's a bad idea. Uh, go away and go back to normal. Looks up. I want his nose to get longer. So I'll do that. Maybe I can move this face. That's what I'll do. I will adjust his face. Are you guys up at 5 a.m.? Like waking up at 5 a.m.? Or are you staying up till 5 a.m.? That's that's my question. Okay, then look down. So go back to normal. Down. And I can't go too far because it breaks. So, right there. Up, down, up, down. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I may cheat it a little bit. I may cheat it just a touch. Might just move his ears up just a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave it. <laughs> okay, three. So it's three for Anna. It's four for Frank. 
and or five four for me and five for Frank. Sometimes you got three hours of sleep. If that's the case, that sounds miserable. I am planning on sleeping in for quite a while. Okay, so that's that's fine with that. Uh, eyebrows. So eyebrows attached to the eyes. And then they don't get lost. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Frank says his Corey sense was tingling. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You like sensed from thousands of miles away and then I was live on the internet and then it woke you from a sleep. <laughs> That's impressive, man. Okay. That is fine. Eyes. So I want eyes and null. And we will link this to a new joystick. And we'll go on. Good turn. Bald head turn. Doo -doo -doo. And come with me over here. And then you get locked and hidden. And then you, let's see how he turns. Why is it going opposite? Holy crap, those eyes look terrible. It's too much. It's too much. Ah, oh, gross. I don't know if I just don't move it that much. Oh, yeah, the eyes are weird. Okay, so let's unlink it. And lessen the eyes so they do less. So let's just do like a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Can you handle that? And then maybe um, position X and just nudge over. Five pixels, sure. Okay, and five pixels, that's funny. And where did our thing go? Uh, a lot less. What is this one? Three? Okay, you can also be negative three. Let's try that, shall we? Boom, boom. We link. Now, are you weird looking? That's a little bit better, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to have to puppet pin everything. I'm going to have to puppet pin his nose. Why did I put his nose and his eyes together? What was I thinking? Okay. Uh, you, sir. Zero, zero. Zero. Okay, then um, unlink all those keyframes. Oh, well, I didn't do anything. Uh, give me paste and paste and then puppet pin eyes solo, my friend, solo. Um, ooh, I can see how that would mess it up really bad. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, give me extremes on all sides. 
and Yusa here, and then advanced here. <laughs> I don't know. I am screwing this up so bad, but you know, let's, let's, let's see. Let's just see how it works. Give me that and give me my keyframes. And you all belong at the beginning. There we go. So, 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 so. Right. Why is that opposite? That's confusing. And the left goes the other way. Is that everything? All right. Why did I do it backwards? Well, let's switch that. Up. Then everything's going to be ruined now. Okay. Okay. So to the right. It still turns left, doesn't it? Noise to switch as well. Do 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 do. do. Okay, cool. And then we go up, we go down. Okay, so I definitely want to extend the nose when we go up. So do I want to move anything when we go to the right? I want to leave all that stuff there. I want to mess with this one. Do I want a little rotation? Sure, I'll take a little rotation and no scale. Scale, you go away. And then to the left, let's rotate back this direction and move it slightly over that direction. Um, negative 2.5, so let's just do the same. 2.5 degrees. Not 25 degrees, 2.5 degrees. A little bit less than much. Let's see how it looks. Okay, then we go up, go back to that, back to that. And I want this to elongate down like this. Maybe even get bigger. Do I want you to get bigger? I think I do. Scale, be that, and then be. Whoa, too much. Just a little bit. It's going to look weird. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. down, go back to 100, maybe even like 98. Let's go and see how much. Sure. But then be longer because it'll cover more of the mouth. And that's where my rig breaks, so not that. Uh, but it shrinks. That is a problem. We're going to fix it. Fix it in Photoshop. All right, it's going to Photoshop. All right, you go away, you go away, you go away. Come here. Come here and give me your eyes. Ah. Hmm. So... 
that matches until it doesn't. Does that make sense? Okay. So give me just this. I'm just going to cover the whole thing up. Yep. That'll fix it. So you, sir, are going to connect all the way up. Yep, that's what we're doing. All of this is going to be colored. This is going to throw everything off. I think I can fix it, though. Ah, oh, crap. My midline is off. Fine, symmetry. Just do it myself. I'm going to do this as well. And hit and expand fill. Okay. Uh, this is not another music video, Frank. This is, I am um, working on, I'm going to see if I can slam something together without overthinking it. Which is not a strong suit of mine. But uh, no, this is just kind of like a little personal fun project that I'm working on. Just like, what would it be like if I just kind of riffed on some stuff? Um, so this one, it will not have a ton of animation in it. He says several hours into spending way too much time on this. Um, but it will have... Uh, Hmm. Weird. Um, but it will have uh, some. But I'm trying to design these characters so that I don't have to do lip sync. That is going to be the biggest time saver for me. There's no lip sync. Okay. And turn everything back on. Ew! don't like it. I don't like it at all. But gosh dang it. I know what I need to do now. I don't like that though. I'm just gonna do the whole thing. Whole thing will come down and do the whole cheekbone here with the correct color. Okay, so there's that. Now let's give ourselves some colors in here. This will just be so much easier than what I was trying to figure out before. Okay, and highlight colors on the top here. So I've got some. Cheekbone highlights. Good. Now you come back and face. That's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. Whole thing all the way across. Um, be dark. What? Oh. 
Oh, because I'm dumb. Did I just do that twice? No, you could draw on it if it wasn't active. It's crazy. Uh, face, color, come across. Um, lip sync is brutal on the animation. I had one down. I was thinking the next time they all wear masks. Yes. Or if you want to see my trick, give them all mustaches that hang over their mouth. Um, I do have a character that I that I rigged up that is wearing a gas mask, and he's great. I have another character that's got a beard, and also you just wiggle his beard a little bit. That's good stuff right there. Um, but yeah, if you see their mouths, it is annoying. Okay, you come across like this. And the whole thing, all of it, that color. That'll be way more simple. I should have done his nose separate. All right. Okay. Um, let's try. Uh, saving that now. What? Everything come back. Dang it. Ah, do I just do that? The all throw. Yes, I think I do. I did a bad thing, guys. It's going to ruin it all. Okay, so those are all back. How about this? Not back. Dang it. Okay, so. Good and good. Yes, yes. And trucker hat. Also. Great. And save. And everybody freak out. There we go. Oh that didn't that didn't move anything that much. Interesting. Okay, cool. All right, so once I'm done looking down, yeah. But now that I redid that, I can move that down and make it smaller. So that's scaling down. That is up. That is to the. Whoa, that looks weird. Um. Move this way and get bigger. Oh, it's because it's off. Eyes. Yep. Or, uh huh. So, this whole thing needs to move up. And now come back. No, this one. What is it like forward? Okay, so we gotta move the whole thing down. Eyes, position, go down and stay there. To the right, to the left. Up, down, I think that's fine. Okay, let's see how it looks. So we've got ice, we've got no, and relink, and then bald head, turn. That looks a little bit better. It's fine. That's good enough. Okay, so up, down. All right, so let's do some eyebrow control. So brows and one view. Give me uh, zero, zero. And give 
me eyebrow and we will just move this over and down like so yeah, do I want to do it that way that's fine that's okay yep okay so I'm gonna use this uh, move anchor point go down there okay good and this one uh, there Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do two controllers. For these, we'll have position, separate dimensions, and separate dimensions, and then we want uh, Y position and Y position, and then I want rotation, Z rotation, and Z rotation. No, not Z position, Z rotation. And then hit U to expose keyframes and U to expose keyframes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, when we go to the right and left, that'll rotate. And when we go up and down, that'll go Y axis. So first off, Let's go grab all of these and go page down keyframe, page down keyframe, page down keyframe, page down keyframe. So we have five positions. And we look to the, we move to the right. Ah, dang. I probably need to, yeah. So we move to the right, we'll go rotation. So rotation, let's see how much. up 12 12 is good okay and then the other one is going to go negative 12 that's fine in there i can go up like that use this one a little more In, down, it's not going to be as much down. Just we'll just go a little flat. Yeah, great. And flat. Good. Okay, and then we'll go back to normal. And up, we'll travel x-axis this way. Up. down a little bit more down okay and the same here so we'll go up all the way up I'm gonna move position y position x position down a little bit like that okay okay go back beep there we go down, down, up, do, 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 do. Cool. Okay, so this one. Come down. You go away. Joysticks and sliders. And we're going to create bulb. left cool and origin no no just you over here and then lock and hide and down <laughs> angry and sad great a little drift on that. Okay, and then uh, little, 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 this one is going to be new, and we'll go bulb brow right. Okay. 
origin. Lock, hide, right, left and right rotates, up and down, raises. <laughs> I love it. All right, cool, 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 cool. Good, good, good. Okay, so now we will fix the mouth. So I can still do the head turn. So the head turn looks okay. A little bit of weirdness on the nose. We should not go down that much. Okay, a little bit of head turn. It's fine. Good. Okay, and then, 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 we will eyebrows, mouth. Okay, so let's get the mouth from here. Uh, give me these time remaps. You know what? I don't want those. I'm just going to do. Not those. So let's delete this. I don't want it. Unhide, you go away. You're locked. Now you go away. You're gone. Come back over here and mouth. Great. So he talks. Spears, spears one, one second. Okay, so. And frames. Okay, so. Bald head turn. No. Mouth, 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 mouth. Um, and. Time remap. Right click, time, enable time remapping. And then we will add a keyframe here. And we'll go to the end. And oh no, it's four minutes long. <sighs> this is the best way to do this. Uh, this way? There we go. Okay. Right bracket. In case any of you were wondering. Home, left bracket. There we go. Let's be smarter than the machine. All right. Go here, put this on the way in one frame. And then we will create a slider instead of a joystick. And create slider. And we'll call this bald Halky. I don't remember how I did that. And then position. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. So I want to make sure it cannot go negative. I forget how to do that. There's got to be some controls, right? Uh, use the slider part of this that much. Flat. This will remove keyframes and any riggable properties that does not change. This will key every riggable property in your selected layers. That's the origin. Bear comps, UI sliders. Okay, so can I create a UI slider? Good. All right, now give me control, origin. Origin, you come down here, sir. Okay. Good. Negative slider values. No, I do not want negatives. I want origin to be locked, and I want label to be locked. I want slider control. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. To slide. So can we slide now? <laughs> Why isn't it sliding? <laughs> What's going on? 
Did I kill it? I think I killed it. It doesn't like me. Let's undo separate dimensions. Oh, it died. Okay, so let's find, go back. That is not letting me move it. Let's delete. Click on a U, UI slider. Slider control, delete. It's not doing it. <laughs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. Um, talky. Update all rig path shape properties. Current selectors, no. Um, unlink. Did that do it? I don't need any eyebrows. I don't need the eyes. I need the mouth. Time remap, you're back. Great. Okay, so now, well, document remap. Oh, can I delete UI that way? Why? Why do you fight me so? Can I change your position now? Still doesn't do anything. Oh, because it's not the thing. So I go here and map it back. Then nothing. But here, can I do it? All right, well, whatever. Okay, so is that changing the position? Where is that slider control? Where's the slider control? Is there slider control? Doo -doo -doo. There's a slider control. Okay, so that's the thing I want to animate. And what's the range? 100 to 0. Great. All right. So let's put this at 50. And we'll put a wiggle expression on it. Wiggle. Um, 50. Try that. And we'll come out. And let's do like 10 seconds of that. Cool. Okay, so it looked like I had some. Did I unlink everything? That would make me so sad. I think I did. <laughs> uh, Dang. Eyes and mouth. Oh, I just unlink the eyes. Is the null? The null isn't. So does that mean that still works? Well, what is this puppet pen? The rotation didn't get linked to the thing? Right, hold on. Because there's only four. Two. That way. And then down. I'll just put it here. And then grab all these. Link them to head turn go. Now, yeah, let me get some rotation. That's too weird. All right. I don't like how low that goes. Okay, so now we get our head turn and eyebrows. Uh -huh. I'm concerned. 
There we go. Concerned and angry. Cool. Okay, let's do the next one. Actually, I'm going to take a break. I will see you guys in a minute. Alrighty then. I'm back. Alrighty then. Alright, so, um, take this down, camera back on. Anybody do anything interesting while I was gone? <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so we've got this guy. And we have this guy, you know what, I'm actually going to pop and paste that control. All right, so that's the Baldry map. I want add turn. Let's go here. Let's grab these. Copy and go here. And head turn, position. East. What? <laughs> what? Hold on. What did I just copy? Go back over here. These. Trucker head turn. I just want these keyframes. That's all I want. Keyframes. And then bald face rig. Turn the keyframes on and paste. There we go. That was weird for a second. This dog and it turns uh, that looks kind of strange. I'm gonna have to fix that nose. That's so weird. It shouldn't get longer. And then Frank, you're still here. What are you guys gonna do today? I'm assuming Anna will go to bed at some point. I might just pull the elevator as I yawn and not go to bed. I gotta get back on a normal sleep schedule soon. That's fine. Okay, and then did we do another one? Just those two. Okay, so next up, Silver Fox. Let's do the Silver Fox. Let's do the Silver Fox. Burr. I don't know if I like his face purple. We're going to do the same thing with his mouth. So, mouth. And uh -huh. okay, so all these one, two, three keyframes, one, two, three, and then Control Shift D, delete, and Back rear and give me time remap and zoom in. Twelve frames, I believe. Do I disappear? Yep. Okay. Oh, there's more than twelve. So So 14 and add frame and jump to the end, delete this keyframe and home, left bracket. Okay. And then we will just go alt click and loop out cycle. And let's try that. Weird talking. And it says, go to bed someday. 
got to sleep in, got a sickness to get over. Oh, sorry, didn't know you were sick. I um, lost my voice, rested a lot during the day because of that. I feel pretty awake right now. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Frank's going to exercise. It's good stuff. All right. Okay, so we got him talking. Now, let's look at what else we've got. Oh, I did it again. Dang it. Figure that out in a minute. Okay, uh, I got to do all this crap. Okay, got to put a new thing. I don't know why this doesn't work. There's got to be a better way of doing it. But I don't know what it is. So reveal source and project. This is the most boring part of everything. Uh, new composition. Layer. Oh, come on. Layer. New comp. Comp. Hello? Did I get really, am I just like so tired I can't function? Or like, why can't I get a new composition out of that menu? And this is gonna be Silver Fox Rig. Face Rig. Yeah. There you go. All right, let's go back and forth 50 times. Okay, so Silver Fox. Reveal. Source Project. Face Rig. Boom. Great. And go up here. Align. Center, center. Silver Fox. Hair 2. Reveal. Oh, you know what? I should go in the other ops order. You're right. Reveal. Source and project. Okay. Go back. Your left. Ooh, I wonder if I could reveal more than one layer at a time. We could totally experiment with that. Let's try it, shall we? We shall. Face and brow reveal. Oh, I can't do it. Face reveal source project. Brow right. Reveal. Brow left. Right click, reveal, layer source project. Brow left, go over here. Great. Eyes. Reveal. Eyes. Those should be under the brows, but I don't know why they're not. Nose. It's much more interesting after I get everything in there. No, I don't want to. Here. There we go. Back here. Hair. Reveal. Actually, I can grab this one too and this one too. There we are. Okay. I think that's all of it. And mouth there we have. So put the mouth on top. Okay. Grab all these. Put them together. Da -da -da -da. Okay. And then Okay. So mouth. Enable time remap. Jump to 14 frames and keyframe and loop out cycle and right bracket, delete this keyframe, left bracket, home, left bracket. That should give me constant talking. <laughs> now we're cooking with fire. Okay, so uh, mouth. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of, I wonder if rotating this would be interesting or not. Just kind of like, I might drift around. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so that's good. Hair, which one is this? That's that hair, so. 
let's have that rotate from here and here to you we'll have that rotate from that point just moving the anchor points around right now bringing the hair in that won't rotate but i'll just change it anyway okay news My eyes need to go under the eyebrows and eyebrows we need you to have your anchor points in the right position right there and right there in the corners cool Frank is saying, oops, Corey did it again, which is mean because now I have Britney Spears stuck in my head. Okay. My mouse is jacked up. All right. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. Okay, here we go. Let's see how fast we can do this. 517. I want to see if I can do it in five minutes. Ready to go? Okay, so first off, let's make a null object. Layer, new, null. That goes to the bottom. All the layers get 3D layers. One view goes to two views. And let's add a camera. Layer, new, camera. Okay, and here, let's fit to screen and here let's fit to screen let's move our camera in so we fill the screen here beautiful nicely done okay and then let's grab our null object and for now let's parent everything to the null object now in theory rotate y rotation Beautiful. And Z rotation, unnecessary right now. X rotation, great. Okay, so to change where that null is in position now in anchor point. So I want it to rotate from more of where the neck would be. Okay. Okay, so right. Separate things out. All right, so ears are in the back. So we just move those back. And then they are separate, so we can space them out. Too much. This other one. Okay, there we go. Move them both up a little bit. Okay, cool. Okay, face zero. Eyes, I want it to be. Oh, I want it to be forward. Okay, so I'm going to put the eyebrows to the eyes, the nose, put the eye links to the nose. Okay, and then we'll deal with the hair in a minute. So let's bring the nose forward. Mm, maybe like that. Let's bring the eyes back. And maybe down. Nope, not too far down. Uh, we'll go up a little bit, and then the nose needs to come up. There we go. Okay. Let's give our mouth some room. Okay. Now let's try that. X rotation. Okay, the nose looks okay. The eyes could move a little bit more. Let's try back and forth. 
That's all right. That's all right. Ooh, too far in the ears. Ears might be too far back. So let's go about like that. Oh, the mouth needs to come forward too. A little bit, not a lot. Mouth, where are you? At the top. Come forward just a touch. Where's the mouth? Why isn't it moving forward more? Mouth. Come forward more. There we go. Now rotate. <coughs> That's a little bit better. I just want to get a little bit of that drift. Just a little bit of that drift. And the ears are too far back. Okay, so if I go there and everything looks good except the ears, let's move the ears forward. Your left, your right. And come forward. Whoa, too much. Okay, and then just one. Nope. So let's go 15, not 145, 15. Okay, the other one, let's try this way. Why? You get a 15. And what if we go back and forth? Great. And up and down. Cool, cool. Okay. So zeros and all that. Okay. Great, 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 great. I think we're good. The hair is fine. So now let's. Zoom in, pulse button, so we see the keyframes. And I want uh, Y rotation, and I want X rotation. I'll deal with Z rotation in a minute. Boo -do -do -do. Okay, so now when we go left and right, so we'll go page down, we'll go to the right. Go pretty far with this one. That's kind of cool. About like that. So negative 24. Left, a positive 24. Back to zero. And zero again. And this one. Stay at zero and zero. And then we'll go up. Far can we go? Pretty far before it starts to break. Nice. And down. Far down can we go? Okay, good. Cool. Okay, so there's head turning. Beautiful. Okay, grab this guy. And we'll go back to joysticks and sliders. And let's create a new joystick. And we'll go silver head turn. Boom, baby. And 10 minutes, not five minutes. That's not bad. Okay. The top here. Origin. And you can come up here. And then you can get locked and disappear. Goodbye. So let's. Yep, I love it. Looking pretty good. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, 
Let's do hair now. Um. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do a couple pins here. So let's put a pin where this bends. And then where this bends. And then just a pin pin where it doesn't move. Okay, so get this rotating. Yep, and this rotating. Maybe moving. Does it move a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, so let's put those back to where they were. <clears throat> and puppet pin three. You do not need keyframes. You are just sitting there. So puppet pin two. Let's see when we move his head to the right, he's going to look left. And so we'll have it swing out. Let's have it bounce a little bit, swing out. So let's have it bounce down for up and down. So we'll go up and down. And then left and right, we'll swing it out. OK, so this is origin. And then when we go to the right, let's have that go like this, and we'll have this one go like that, and then we go left, we'll swing it out like this, and swing this one up like that, okay, and then when we go up, <coughs> let's move this up, and this up, And then we go down. Let's put that back to where it was. Was. So then swing it out. Okay. Then we need these to be normal. So be normal and be normal and be normal and be normal. Okay. Great. Right. And then after that, this is normal. And then back here. Boom. Boom. Okay, so lots of nice hair movement there. Great. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna do these both in the same. I'm do these both in the same one. <clears throat> so let's just pin this here. Yeah, so let's pin it right there, and then we will rotate. This is a more simple one, so we'll just do that. Okay, there we go. And we'll come here and we will go puppet pin one, you don't need keyframes. And puppet pin two, when we turn our head to the right, let's rotate that way. And left, we'll rotate that way. And up. Which will be normal, which will be normal. So up, go up. And then we'll go out. Great. Cool. 
Let's try it. Let's try it. So, hair one and hair two. Ba-do, ba-do. And, ooh, I wonder what happens if we just map this to the existing head turn. Let's try that. That could be cool. Mm, head turn. I'm just going to put a little wiggle on this. So P for position, alt click on the position. And in the expression, let's do wiggle, rotation, uh, wiggle, and then let's have it go. Seven hit moves at a lot, six times a second. And let's do like 100 pixels. So that's that around quite a bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's do some eyebrows. Eyebrows. Do, 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 do. Mouth, hair, nose. Oh, that's fine. Brow left, brow right. And we need rotation. We need Z rotation. And then we need position. Separate dimensions. Separate dimensions. And we need Y position and Y position. And brow right, brow left. Give us all the keyframes. And, excuse me. Head turn. Let's go zero zero. Oh, because I've got the thing. Uh, wiggle. You go away from it. Great. Just need to look at it straight. Okay, so yes. All right. Um, so is that going to be the origin point, or is that going to be? Uh, that's fine. So we'll start there. And then when we move the joystick to the right, we'll have it get that way. Okay. And when we move it to the left, we'll have it go up. Wah. Interesting. And 12. Okay. And we'll go back to 0 and 0. Okay. And then from here, we will go up. So we'll go up. What? Not so far up, just a little bit. And then up more on this side. What? Crazy. Okay, and we'll go down. Give me brow left and brow right and give me origin point. Oh, fine. Down from there. Down more. I love what a Neanderthal this guy looks like. And then up down the middle. And normal, 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 normal. Okay, so there's normal. And there's do, 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 do. Up, down. Great. Cool. So, brow left. New joystick. Silver. Brow. Brow left, 
source origin. Come over here with me, sir. There we go. There you are. You get locked and hidden. Brow right. Right. Origin. And you get locked and hidden. Oh, hidden. There we go. And you can go up and over and over and down. Cool. Very cool. Okay, so Joe Zero. Awesome. So he should talk and move now. So talk. Great. And we'll go back and we'll go to the position. Brad turn. And we go. Twenty-five might be too much. Let's try one hundred. I wonder if I could tilt that nose. I bet I could tilt that nose and it would help. Nose. Uh, come back here. I wonder if I'm gonna mess this up if I move this. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try to move this without messing it up. Okay, you go here. Now you go here. And then just, just rotate back for me. Oh, everything is attached to it. I get the eyes not attached to it anymore. So, browser attached to the eyes, that's fine. And then the eyes attach to a null. And now let's move that nose. Might be on to something. Ooh, ugly. Okay. Um. Probably a little too much. Yeah, let's let's decrease that a little bit. It's just not so drastic. Try that. I like it. Where's the mouth? Is the mouth forward? Let's move the mouth slightly forward. Oh, we're a little bit forward. Let's go a little bit more. Oh, I love it. So this guy's supposed to be like a ranting crazy person. The nose is too much, though. It's fine. I'm going to have to move a little bit less. So we'll go up here. Uh, and let's do 75. And not as quick. Oh, the hair moving independently of the hair was a great idea. That was looking pretty good. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, eyebrows, mouth, and we're golden. 
Cool. Okay. Okay, next character. Okay, so, holy crap, I have not saved yet. What am I thinking? Mm-hmm, oh, what am I calling this? This guy. So we got the trucker guy. We got this guy. We got this guy. Good stuff. Now let's get a friend whose name I can't remember. Okay. Okay. I guess there. Yep, that's the one. Okay, here we go. And oh no. Didn't come all the way through. Okay, let's mask some stuff. What is that? That's color for that. Color for that. The nose. And then the thing, and this is the one in the back. Okay. So, oh, ooh. What? Don't do that. Do this. Perfect. Okay. So, you be on this layer and be here, and then I guess. Right about like that. And then we'll guess right about like that. Zoom in there and adjust. And over here and adjust. You can be on automatic, and you can be fit to screen. And then back over here. Great. Except now I want this. To be. Oh, really? There we go. Good, good, good. <clears throat> I don't think I want the whole thing to be overlay. So take this back to normal. Normal. Inside, you are overlay. Oh, it's not passing through. Mm, it's not passing through, everyone. So I need to do them independently of each other. Okay, so rename. Uh, oh, gosh. Hey. And which one's this? Is that a copy of that? Very confused. What is this? I can't see anything. So that's that, and this is that same thing again. And then this is what? Just that. So why is that there? Okay, so gold glasses copy. Don't do that. Don't do that to me. Rename. And Mm 
And we'll grab all these. And we'll go to here and paste. What? Why did everything break? What? Does it make any sense? I don't care. Okay, I'll just do this then. It's pretty weird though. Pretty weird. I wonder if I'm just going to go in and put two gradient shapes in there. I'll do that. Okay, so we'll go here and let's create shape and throw that shape layer down and get rid of our stroke and add a fill color be white but be a gradient instead good ellipse gradient fill add a gradient on this end, you can also be white. What the heck does this gradient work? Oh, like that. Oh, that must be the stroke. I don't want a gradient. That's dumb. Let's do it with a mask. Gradients in this program are weird. <clears throat> okay. Okay, there we go. And then duplicate and come over here. Great, grand, wonderful. Is that both of them? Perfect. Right click, mask, new mask. And here and here. And give me the mask. Feather this thing out. There we go. Go back. Yeah, those look like glasses. Okay. All right. So hair ink face ink face color so this goes to that and it's gone hair color so this goes to that and is gone this is the ink itself and so this goes to that and is gone and let's make a point up here over here <clears throat> okay and I actually think I'm going to comp these up. So, face. Okay. 
and yeah, let's do a little of that action. Okay, so that should be all of that. And so I'm gonna grab right in the middle and then down here. And then on the sides, <clears throat> and the tops. Okay, so this one, yep, we'll wiggle back and forth and up and down. Good, that'll give us some mumbling. Okay, so let's go right to left. Now, oh, what does scale do in that? Uh, I don't like it. <clears throat> no scale. Okay, so uh, zoom in. And let's go right to left is rotation. So just a little bit of rotation, not too much. Just a little bit like that. Nine, sure. And negative nine. Okay, and then zero. And zero. Okay, I'll go back. And on position, we'll stay there. Stay there. Then we'll go up. Oh, that's going to be so awesome. I love it. And down. <laughs> oh, I love it. The elasticity of her face is going to be great. Old people are cool. All right, so here we go. And joysticks and sliders. And give me, oh, I guess I can do that. Leave that open. That's nice. Oh, I don't like this one. Um, and let's go new. And I want um, yeah. And give me the top. Go to the origin. Move this over here like so. And lock and hide. Okay. Great. So then. That's red. Love it. Okay. So that's good. Then let's go back here. And this one, give ourselves a little bit of a head turn. So let's also move the hair. Okay. Um, everything with this, and you no, 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 and no. Okay, and then perfect. Great. Okay, so we are going to go here again with you. Great. Hair. And hair two. So hair two is going to link to hair. And then hair, we will go position. And just in case. Just do position. Okay, just position. Hair two is going to. Okay, so hair position. All right. Um, so we move this joystick to the right. Oh, right. I forgot. 
The glasses need to move to the right too. Can I? I have the glasses. And link those to the pin. Where's the location of the pin? Right there. 966-642. Glasses. All right there. Okay, and let's go position. Link to position. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so now... Now when I move this position over, yeah, the glasses move with it. I don't want to go too far. Okay, and then we'll go back. Good. When we do that with the hair, this might ruin everything. I don't know if I set this up right. That's not too bad. That kind of messes with the ear, though. I have to fix that. Back. That messes it up pretty good, though. We'll fix that. Okay, then we'll go up. And you come back here. So if we're looking up, this will go up. And the hair will go down. As it wraps around the back of the head there. And we go down. And expose more? I don't know. I'll find out. We'll just leave it probably. Okay, so go down. Not too much. Up down. Left, right. I like it. Scale rotation. Do I need to do any rotation? No. No. That's weird. Okay, so no scale, no rotation. Give me this. We'll just do this one. Give me this. And give me this. And give me a new joystick. And we'll call this turn. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And then we'll go origin. And move that up here. And then lock the origin, hide the origin, and turn. And then talking. <laughs> okay, so let's do a thing where we turn talking on and off. So I am going to go in here and go position. And alt click and let's do wiggle expression. Good. Okay. And then I need a layer new null object. And we'll call this null talker on off. And separate dimensions. And be zero and zero. Okay. And we'll go select the frequency and pick whip that select the amplitude 
and pick whip that. So that says this uh, uh, X and Y. Great. Then I can turn this on and off. And I can say like this, hold keyframe, hold keyframe. And we won't talk for a minute. And then I will say 200 and six. Talk a little bit and stop. And start again. And let's see how that works. Awesome. Oh, shoot, it's easy. Okay. Okay, let's turn glasses off. Good there. Uh, reveal project and just not in there. Duh. Fine. Um, let's see. <clears throat> I need red. Hey, hey. Oh my gosh, so annoying. Fine, delete. And be out of this. Rigged faces. And give me trucker hat rig, silver fox rig, bald face rig, and biddy. Go, go up. You got it. Keep going. Go to the top there. Oh my gosh, this is annoying. Beautiful. This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Yep. Good stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And give me head turn position, alt click, wiggle. Uh, she's gonna do a little bit of the shakes. That might be too much. Let's see how fast it goes. Yeah, that's too much. Let's just go two and fifty. I love it. Cool. Got all four done. All right. Well, I'm going to take off. Thanks for watching. You can catch my stuff at CoreyKerr.com. Um, I've got a new music video out um, where I animated it. It's not my music. But you can check that out at CoreyKerr.com. And if you click on, click on what's new, it'll be right there. Um, so go watch that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up and all that jazz. Thanks for those of you that jumped into the chat. And uh, have a good day. We will see you guys later.